Welcome. My name is Debbie and this is Pouring My Art Out for the Lord. And I have a really neat little project for you today. And um, I was inspired to make this by Wendy Townsend. And she was inspired by Margaret from Seven Plaza. And you know, the inspiration just comes from everywhere. Um, but this is a really neat um, project where you take envelopes. These are um, smaller envelopes. I'll show you how to make them in a second and you stack them and you create like a tuck. I haven't uh, glued this on here yet, but it's um, it'll make a tuck and you can put um, other bits of ephemera or tags or whatever underneath it. So I've done this one and I've done this one and they just work like that. Um, so I made these um, with just some um, scrapbook paper that I had, but I decorated them with my uh, Faith Basics line um, again. These are my Faith Basics toolbox that I have over in my coffee shop. Um, they're quite inexpensive um, to buy one kit and you can buy bundles of 10 or 20. Um, so go over and check that out because um, the premise of this is to um, to add faith elements to any scrapbook, um, any journal that you have. Um, they coordinate with pretty much every color. They're very neutral in tones. Um, and you can just add them to any other kit that you have to make it a faith-based kit. So um, I'm just adding them to um, some scrapbook paper this time. So this this bottom um, envelope will get glued on your page. And then this envelope will flip up and this envelope will flip up and then it's um, kind of covers your page. And then the bottom envelope, you can put different things in. I've just got a couple of tags in there. And when this is folded up, you don't even see the bottom, this decoration here or this at all. So um, it's kind of hidden embellishing in a way. So you flip it up and you see all of this and you see all of this. I got a little carried away with all my embellishing embellishing on this one because um, I just wanted to to see what it was like with with all of the stuff so then we go to our second envelope and it's a functional envelope as well we got some things tucked in there and you can add um, different elements there as well I added something to the back of that envelope and then the front envelope um, it's a functional envelope as well there's a couple of things in there from the faith basics toolbox and this one I just put a Velcro dot on to close that front one. These other ones don't need it because they have the weight of the envelope holding um, those down. So then when you glue it on your page, just make sure that the whole um, set of envelopes fits on the bottom of your page, unless you really want it to, um, you know, poking off, you could do that as well. Um, <clears throat> and then, um, you can glue just the back envelope. You don't want to glue these envelopes because these ones need to flip up. So you, you can glue on three sides like that and make a tuck. Or you can just glue on two sides and then you kind of make this whole thing a tuck, like this whole thing will be a tuck with all the envelopes. So that's what I would probably do is just to glue these two sides and then you have this big tuck for the rest of your page with all of this um, as a decoration there. <clears throat> and you can fill all of the pockets, all of the envelopes um, are totally functional. So really neat. Um, I made another one here that is, uh, I embellished it just with three little tickets. So I didn't go to town on this one. I probably could have done a little bit different decoration um, too. I just had my tickets um, on my desk. So I just threw them on there, but this one has a little bit of smaller envelope. Again, this one um, just uses a Velcro dot and then a functional envelope and another functional envelope. And again, you know, situate this on your page how you want it. And then glue this probably just on two sides. And then you've got a nice big tuck for all kinds of uh, ephemera, tags, whatever you want in there. So. So I'm going to show you how to make one of those. And 
and I'm using my envelope punch board to make the envelopes. There's many different ways to make envelopes. Um, this is to a tool that has been around for quite a few years, so probably a lot of you have this tool already. Um, <coughs> if you don't, just <coughs> pardon me, make envelopes using your favorite uh, technique. So I decided to make, I have um, some gray scrapbook paper here. This is some old Stampin' Up! Um, two-sided paper. And I decided to make an envelope that um, used a five by five inch piece of paper. Actually, no, these are five inch, five by five inch papers. And this is probably a yeah, six by six inch paper. Um, you can make them. I did this little one, I think was a four by four. You can make them all different sizes, but this is what I picked for this one. So to use this envelope punch board, um, it tells you right here how to, to make it. So six by six to make a three by four envelope, you score it on two and five eighths. So you just score the very first um, side, you line it up at two and five eighths, you give it a punch and there's a groove in here and you just score that groove. Then you rotate it 90 degrees and you line up this little prong thing up with your first score, give it another punch and score, rotate it 90 degrees, line it up on your score again. So you only need the measurement for the very first time. Score, line it up again, punch and score. <clears throat> and then what I like to do on the other side here, there's a corner rounder. So I just round all four of my corners that. Oops. That's better. And this one. So all four of my corners. And then I will construct my envelope. So you can just fold over all of these sides that you just scored. And then you can construct your envelope and you can construct your envelope um, you know in a horizontal position or you can do it in a vertical position either way um, because I'm doing this for a side pocket you can also make um, like belly bands doing the same sort of thing but I'm just gonna make um, a horizontal pocket so I'm just going to take my glue and just glue where this is going to come together here to form my envelope. And I could probably add a little extra and now that I know where this is going, where it's going to fall there. Just add a little bit of extra on the side there and down here as well. So there's our first envelope. And of course you can ink it and do whatever you want with it there. So I'll put that one aside for a minute and I'll do my five inch envelope here. And five by five, it says there's two different ways you can do it. One is to score by two and, uh, two and three eighths and one is to score at two. So I think I'll make one of each. So first one is two and three eighths. <clears throat> so I'll line that up at two and three eighths, punch, score. I'll just fast forward the rest of this. There, so I got um, two different envelope shapes out of one um, size of paper. Um, I think I'm going to maybe make the polka dots on the outside of this one. And I think I'll reverse this one and do the other side. going to be a square envelope 
This one could be this way. I think I'll make this a horizontal envelope. I didn't round my corners here. And actually, I'm just going to a little bit of a white edge there. And I'm going to trim this one off just so that when I fold it up, it doesn't come up too, too high there. So I'm just going to round. I just really need to round the very top. So I'll do that and glue my pocket together, or envelope rather. And it's right up at the top, yep. There. Just make sure before your glue dries that you didn't glue your envelope shut. And that looks good. So there's my second one. And my third one. <clears throat> I'm just going to round the top edge or the top corner again on that one. And put some glue. And this one is not quite at the top. Just figure out where your glue needs to go. Like that. And you can ink them if you like. I would probably use a gray or a, a black for this particular color which I don't have handy on my desk right now so I think I'm just going to skip that for this one so then what you want to do is I don't know is this going to be in frame if I put it yeah just so I'm going to put it um, together on my board just to make sure it doesn't cross I usually do journals about five and a half inches so I don't want it to cross the five and a half inches or it'll be sticking out of my book so I might do this one and then this one. I think that'll look good. So then what you want to do is you want to make sure that this bottom envelope flap will still open. So when you glue this one on, it has to, um, it can't go over the top of the bottom envelope. So you can kind of angle it how you want like this, but make sure that your bottom envelope will still be able to open. So I'm just going to put it there. So we just kind of tack it on a couple of places and then you can fill in with the glue once you know where it's going to sit. And you really just want the glue on the bottom envelope flap. You don't want it anywhere else. I mean, you don't want it on this part of the envelope. Just glue this envelope onto the flap and make sure the flap still opens. So hopefully that makes sense. And then I'll line it up here again. And I want this one to be again below the second envelope, the bottom envelope flap. And I want it to be within five and a half inches. So this one, I can do it maybe like that. And that will go kind of have to test it and just see how it's going to to flip up and I think that will work good that way maybe I'll even just do it a little bit more this way is that gonna work yep okay and then tack it on just on the uh, middle envelope flap you don't want any on the actual white envelope below. So then we should have a functional envelope here. That flips up, we have a functional envelope here. That flips up and we have a functional envelope here. So then this will go on our page 
like this and it all fits within the page flips up like this well actually we'll do it one at a time flips up like this and flips up like this and then again we just want to glue either these two edges or these three edges on the bottom envelope and that's how that would go and then we can put a um, little piece of velcro on just the top envelope to hold it down that will be our closure and then you can decorate um, as much as you want you can just decorate the parts that are showing you could put some surprise um, decorations inside um, here or I like to put it here where the two are meeting you can put some things here you can put some things here and then tuck in whatever you want here and it just makes a, a fabulous little really quick and easy embellishment so I'm going to do a couple more. I might do um, a couple more maybe with some smaller envelopes um, and I'll embellish them with my Faith Basics toolbox and I'll just put a picture at the end so you can just get a couple more ideas on what you can do with these. And yeah, thanks for watching. Blessings. Mm -hmm.